Welcome back to Sky Sports News. Martin Bacoli returns to the ring this weekend as he looks to take a step closer to a world title chance. He'll face the undefeated heavyweight uh, Igor Szewczewski in Poland and it's live on Sky Sports and we can speak to him right now. Martin, uh, thank you for joining us. It's uh, nearly a year since you last beat Olympic gold medal winner Tony Yoka. How excited are you about making a statement in your first bout since joining Boxer? Oh, thank you to have me today in uh, Sky again. I think I want to thank uh, Sky Sport uh, for giving me this big opportunity to to fight in the big fly platform and big TV in the UK as a Sky Sport. So I'm looking forward to make my first and uh, debut in Sky Sport in Poland. Well, it's the first time that our viewers are going to see you, Martin. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh yeah, no, I think uh, people love boxing know me more than myself because. I mean, boxing to make a fun and you know, uh, all enjoy boxing. So I'm not Martin Bacoli coming from Africa in the Kananga. And uh, now living in UK with my family, focus on boxing, number two WBA ranking, and number 16 in the uh, in a box rank. And looking forward to my next fight Saturday night in Poland. You've got, the, as you mentioned there, the rankings well placed in two of the four sanctioning bodies. Does that bring any? Extra pressure, knowing that you could be close to a world title shot soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm close to close. To be number two is not given to anybody. I'm before, now I'm above uh, Anthony Joshua. Um, uh, before, you know, some top guys up there. So I'm looking forward to be number one tomorrow. It's everything's possible. I was just uh, reading before this interview uh, a month ago or so, uh, Ben Shalom saying that outside of Tyson Fury you would be the toughest fight for Alexander Usyk. Is that someone who you've got your eye on one day? Of course, yeah, of course. And the Tyson Fury, you know, everyone can see the best fight. He's a good fighter. So after him, I've spied him a couple of times. After him, I don't see anybody who stand and maybe beat me in the UK around the world. So I'm the best. I know myself. We saw at the weekend Joe Joyce, I'm sure you saw this as well, suffering a shock defeat uh, to Zhang. What did you make of that bout? Oh, big upset for UK's you know, boxing and a big upset for Joe Joyce and his team. So but the big, big mistake he made, he maybe didn't take it serious and he was open for backhand. He let big uh, Chinese guy you know, land that backhand and affect his eyes. So very disappointed by Bob. So, you know, he's a man. I think he'll go back to the gym and uh, try to work on that and maybe can revenge in rematch. Would you consider, if you got through this, about fighting either of these two, Martin? I've been calling out every name there, all top guys there, Joshua, Dubois, Dylan White. Uh, I've been calling all them out, uh, but nobody responded, nobody mentioned my name. I'm looking forward, even the big guy say yes after my fight, I'm ready to face him. I learned box from my brother, Junior Macabre, who's a sex for. I know how to stop sex for. And Alexander Uzik knows that. Martin, you've sparred against some of the biggest names in the heavyweight uh, uh, industry right now. Anthony Joshua, Alexander Usyk. Firstly, what's it like to spar against those two? Yeah, that is a mistake I made and I regret that. So I can't do that anymore because I give them hard time in sparring. All top guys out there, that's why they're avoiding me. So I make big mistake that uh, if I knew it before or if I was having with the sky, I was not going to do that mistake. Does it mean that you've uh, got a bit of insider knowledge, though, Martin? Because, you know, you face these guys, you know that they might have potential weak spots? Of course, yeah. Of course. Martian. What, what about your next opponent, then, uh, known as the Hulk? Ten wins out of ten. Does that scare you in any way? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not scared. I'm respecting the guy. He's, uh, he's got 10-0, a good amateur career. And I'm respecting all my opponents. Everyone who say yes to fight me, I always give him respect. He's not coming to play because you know who he's going to face. And I know I'm going to face on Saturday night, but I'm focused on that fight. That is like, you know, eliminator from my, the world title. So I'm going to take this guy serious and do the business and come back to UK. Yeah, we saw your brother fought Tony Bellew uh, back in 2016. Is he a big inspiration for you? Of course, yeah. I learned box for him. He's the one who took me into boxing. So I'm so proud and I'm so happy for him because if it was not him, I was not going to be today in the UK and today where I am.
Uh, do you dream about fighting back in Africa for a heavyweight world title? Is that the dream, Martin? Every day. I always dream that, so that would be a good fight. That would be like a, a Muhammad Ali for one two, especially if that fight happened with me and Joshua. Because, you know, we're both coming from Africa, coming from Nigeria, we're coming from Congo. Why not that fight in Congo? I'm always looking forward. That is my dream. Did you say against against anyone in particular, did you say? Joshua, Anthony Joshua. So you're calling out Anthony Joshua right now, live here on Sky Sports News? Of course. If he's following me, I'm you know, with much respect. I respect him. He's my best friend, but in boxing. So I'm asking him if he's ready to do that fight in Africa. I'm ready. Martin, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck at thank the weekend. Cheers. Thank you so much.